just got to fine tune a couple of things. We've just about got it right now. Uh, want to get the rollers on there a bit quicker, so we're going to roll, get in there and roll the edge, especially, and start to work our way out before the ground. We just done a, the daily toolbox, and um, yeah, just run through the program of what'll happen tonight and uh, where our placement will be, and that allows the grout crew to understand where we're going to be and puts them in a better position safety-wise so that they're not um, on the field where the dozer and the moxie will be uh, running the material. Good job on safety, guys. Just use those ball arts like uh, Clarky was saying. Keep the glasses on, please. And if you're handling that grout, you got to have gloves. And breaking bags, you got to have a, a dust mask. And fatigue training, we've got to go up to the office now, which so I'll lead everyone that hasn't done that. You've only got little windows, you've got to have the roller on the placement within 45 minutes. Uh, you've got to have your grout vibrated within, you know, the, the, the times that it's set on the spec. You've got to place the right way, you can't you can't go down the field, you've got to go across. Um, yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, things in the spec that you've got to keep right on top of. My name is Matt Trelaw, I'm the site engineer um, with the Bulk Water Alliance. I've been on site since 2008 in October. Uh, initially setting up uh, Mount Stromlo office, getting the top organised and together with the other engineers and then starting out with a site setup and then eventually I started up on the right hand abutment uh, with the excavation team. Followed that through down to just recently we started building the uh, dam going back up now which is a big step in the right direction. I've got a road building background. I started with Abbey Group about four to five years ago. Worked down in the country in Kulak, building a road down there, and um, mainly road building, earthworks. So, yeah, it's really good to get hands a bit dirty and playing with concrete. It's good. Oh, yeah, we're um, three weeks in so far, and we've put in 24 300 mil lifts. We leave it 50 mil high, roll it in, and um, compact it, test it, and then put another lift over the top of that. After excavation going on for 12 months or more, doing a repetitive process of uh, building tracks in, drilling holes, blasting, rock supporting, cleaning the rock down, and then doing the same thing for the last yeah, 12 months, it's really good to have a bit of a change and finally filling it in and, <laughs> yeah, as I said again, going back up. Behind me you've got a 1500 pipe bench that comes from the intake tower that'll uh, feed the Canberra water supply and that's mainly getting completed as we speak because uh, the dam doesn't really stop. We're um, going up around 300 mils every shift so that's about 600 mils a day and we're going to be catching these guys pretty quick. Um, on my left shoulder we've got the intake tower and they're um, at a few months head start of us and they're madly trying to stay ahead of the dam because yeah, as with RCC it goes up fairly quick so everyone's working their hardest to stay ahead. Mainly I was involved in the excavation of the abutment, so I've been on that inside there for the, the whole time I've been here. Um, on the left and right hand abutment. Yeah, so to um, yeah, pioneer the roads in to start the job, um, take out the rock, uh, involved in the um, blasting that we did you know, on the way down. Um, yeah, just every aspect of the, um, of the abutments. When I first came out here, I was doing a lot of site tours with subbies and getting prices together, trying to explain how it's gonna look and what's gonna happen and actually seeing that come to front as we speak now. A lot of meetings, <laughs> a lot of sitting down and thinking about where we've, um, haven't succeeded first go and then we go back and put the drawing board and have another go at it. It's rare that engineers get the chance to jump on a job like this so it's uh, pretty exciting to be able to walk away and say you've actually been on the Cotter Dam. Anyone that's been here appreciates how much hard work's gone into it and yeah, all the time and effort and the different problems that we've had to overcome in the last couple of years and 
probably the next couple of months now to go and all the problems we're still going to jump ahead. So, yeah, it's been really good. Yeah, I suppose it's um, to go right from the top to the bottom. Uh, done the hard yards there and uh, yeah, putting the concrete uh, back in is a, a lot better than taking the rock out. So, And you also can see a lot more results at the end of the day. So yeah, it's pleasing.